Gingerbread chicken tindal. Wow. With a eggnog dipping sauce. Whoa. Say it again so our okay. people at home know what we're t what we just said. Gingerbread chicken tender. Gingerbread chicken tender. With eggnog drizzle on top of that dizzle. <laughs> All right. So they took the actual chicken and breaded it in gingerbread batter? Yeah. That's, That's crazy. crazy. That's a crazy. That's, look at what we're doing in America. Yeah. Somebody need to contact the UN and let them know what's going on in these here United States of food America. Food streets. In these food streets. Also, they top it with candy, crushed candy canes. I know. Sheesh. I know. It's the holiday. They're topping a chicken holiday. tender with crushed candy canes. That's nuts. It's kind of like, I'm kind of scared because we've had chicken. We had um, sticky fingers before. We had before. sticky fingers. We had that salted caramel pretzel mm -hmm. fried chicken tenders mm -hmm. this time we are gonna have this and what's cool about this one is huge like a chicken breast you yeah this isn't like a tender, a tender. this is, is a, like a cutlet that's the breast mm -hmm. yeah this it. is like a cutlet uh, it's yeah. not a tender <laughs> it's not uh, and i'm kind of scared to eat this because number one i don't like candy canes i don't like candy canes do you like candy canes justin i like candy canes you do I, 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 candy canes are okay. I don't really like peppermint. I never thought peppermint and chicken would go together. Mm. Well, I only like peppermint when it comes to my gum. So, mm. just saying. But yeah, we're going to try it today. But I do like chicken. We're kind of scared, but we're going to cut up in threes. Wow. First of all, this chicken smells incredible. Mm -hmm. This is really unique. It is a gingerbread crust. Yeah, because it's darker than regular on chicken this crust. Chicken. It's darker than regular crust. And they put a pinch of cinnamon on top, too. A pinch of cinnamon. Oh, wow. All right, I'm scared, but let's go for it. Y'all ready? Yep. I'm dipping mine in some extra sauce. Maybe I should too, because I'm just so scared. Dip it in the sauce. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. This is the egg knot dipping sauce. Work, 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 work. You work. Ready? ready? One, two, three. <laughs> it's actually good. Oh, weird. Peppermint chicken. That's crazy. This is freaky. That's so I weird. It's pretty good. It's so it weird. Bad, but it's good. The first thing you taste is the peppermint, of course. Mm -hmm. It's like a refreshing chicken, might I say. But you know what? I taste the peppermint. I don't really taste... I thought it would be more of a gingerbread taste. Do you taste the gingerbread? Mm -hmm. Not really. The no. gingerbread can be strong. It has that bite to it when you eat a cookie. It has a little bit of a sweet. But it's just crazy how yeah. they put that together. Um, like it's Santa. not disgusting. I thought it was going to be one of the things like, ew. Like, what do you think, Justin? I like it. It's not this. Okay, I'm sorry. I was a little nervous about it at first. But Me too. It's not it disgusting. I can't say I love it. This is when I would eat this. If I was at a holiday party and they had them as like little nuggets or mm -hmm. nerves, I would take one as a novelty because it's a novelty and dip it and mm -hmm. say, oh, okay. But I wouldn't be able to purchase a whole one of these and eat the whole thing. I'm sorry, I'm going to keep it real. Well, this thing is huge. It's like she said, it's like a chicken, it's big. chicken cutlet. It's big. And it's got peppermint and stuff on it. I, I, It's just, to me, this is freaky. <laughs> so you said it's an abomination. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me as a Christian person, I don't know if I could eat a whole one of these. Mm. I'm going to watch y'all sin, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, well, at the end of the day... It's not gross or anything like that. We just thought it was going to be something like, oh, it's not going to make sense. It's not gross. It's just perverse. It's, per yeah. it's a perverted food fusion. Yeah. That I, me personally, that I'm a little too prude to really enjoy it. Because first of all, peppermint candy canes, 
I don't love them. I used to eat them when I was a kid. To have it crushed over anything, cookie bars, pudding, whatever, it's not what yeah. I would choose. I agree. So I think I would enjoy it more if it didn't have the peppermint crushed over. And it's optional. And I agree. Danielle was the one that decided to put liberally peppermint all over my piece. And that's what they, not your piece, is on the whole piece. We're sharing one piece, but that's what it is. Boo. Fix your face. That's what it is. I like it without the peppermint, though. I think the peppermint is too much. The dipping sauce is sexy. The, the dipping, dipping sauce, sauce, sauce. The dipping sauce. You know what? This dipping sauce would taste really good with some coconut shrimp. Yeah. 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 Because it goes really well with a batter. They should keep this. Let me see if I can taste it again. The eggnog um, dipping sauce. It's real sweet. What? That dipping sauce. The eggnog good. dipping sauce would go really well with some coconut shrimp. Yeah. I agree with her. Coconut yeah. I agree shrimp. with her. Um, scale of 1 to 10. 8.5 for me. I give it a six point eight. Damn. I'm not into it. It's nothing <laughs> against sticky finger. It's my personal preference of what I feel food and food should go together. And I don't really the peppermint threw me way off. Well, this uh, I give it a seven. Same. And thing. I think because like I don't like peppermint either. I don't like candy canes. But I didn't really think. But the chicken didn't blow me away either. It wasn't, in my opinion, the chicken wasn't really all that flavorful. Yeah, I didn't taste a lot of the, the crunchy um, ginger. I can taste gingerbread, which could be a good or a bad thing, because I feel like if we would have had the gingerbread, it might have took it to some, somewhere else we wouldn't. I mean, I'm It would have been kind of crazy, Punto. but it wasn't bad. It wasn't like, oh, my God, I can't eat this. I want to, like, some of the dishes we had in the past. We ain't going to talk about it, shade, but no shade. No, but, let's talk about this. People want to sugarcoat, no pun intended, <laughs> the message. I mean, it's not for me. It'll, some people might like it. It's, it's, I didn't think it was stellar. Per perfect for a Christmas party, like you said, a holiday party. Perfect yeah. for that. But in everyday effect, no. Yeah. I, it would not work. But okay. <laughs> Once a year. But okay. <laughs> Once okay. a year. We see what you're doing. You'll make some money off of it. But granted, if you're ever in New York, go to Sticky Fingers. They do have really good chicken. Like we had this, like I said, salted caramel. We have some other one. things. Chicken poppers are good. They have a mac and cheese dipping sauce that is really good. Yeah, with jalapenos in it. Like, that stuff is delicious. It's just, this right here is something you should try once a year on Christmas. No, it's not something you should try once a year. It's just something you should try one once. time. Once in life. Once, once in, in life. life. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Once in life. But yeah, we had to break. We had, we had to show you guys. Sorry. Not to, not to ruin anybody's Christmas. I mean, I hope you at home eating cookies and ice cream mm -hmm. and eggnog and, and drinking eggnog. Yeah. And we're not trying to ruin it. We're just saying... Say no to candy canes. Right. Just Say no to candy canes. Say no to candy no. canes. I'm Danielle Carrington. I'm Nikki Sunshine. I'm Justin Ramos. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Let's, Let's Get, Get Greedy. Greedy. Like, subscribe, tell your family, friends. Also, this this Tinder was three ninety five. What? Three ninety five. I meant to say for that. For one Tinder. For one Tinder. One Tinder is three ninety five. God damn. No. No. Yeah. And I said no. Three ninety five for one Tinder. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm not so, buying it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Still. I, sticky fingers, keep doing what you're doing. You probably have way more money in the bank than I ever will have. <laughs> but I'm going to, I need my $4. Oh. <laughs> Ain't but no shade. But we love you guys. See you next time. And please be safe for the holidays. No drinking and driving. No drinking and eggnog. No, oh, and spiking oh. it. None of that. Love you. No Oh, we know what she's real. doing. She's, this is when it gets dark and dark and mysterious. <laughs> Sorry. You know, my friend had that in her. One of my characters came out. See ya. Girl, <laughs> Love you. Don't leave your food around me, greedy girl, for